Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to continue my discussion on Gang of Four design patterns and today's topic is going to be proxy design pattern. Proxy design pattern is also part of Gang of Four design pattern and this is probably one of the most simplest, easiest to understand and implement design pattern in the Gang of Four design patterns. Proxy design pattern is also a structural design pattern. The main intent of the proxy design pattern is to provide a placeholder for another object to control access to it. Now this may sound like a little bit complex but it's very simple. The idea behind this pattern is you proxy an object with another placeholder so that you can control how the final object is accessed by the end user. So let's take an example and show how it really works in a real life scenario. And for the purpose of that, what I have done is I have created an ASP.NET Core project which comes with the default controller and the weather implementation. And what I have done here is I have moved the code of the weather implementation out in a separate class library and in the class library I created the weather forecast model and I created an interface called iWeather provider which is a get method which takes a parameter total count and returns an array or an i enumerable of weather forecast and then I have an implementation of weather provider here. This code is very similar. This is the default code which shows up with the template when you create a new ASP.NET Core application. Now here all I'm doing is for the range of enumerable of how many number of items that has to be created, I'm just passing that as a parameter as total count. That's the only change I did. Rest of the code is just copied and pasted from the default implementation. So this is a library and this is the practical scenario. In most of the cases, we use third party libraries and new get packages into our project. Now let's say here, the requirement for us is we want to call the weather provider, but let's say we want to handle total count between two and five. So anything which is less than two or greater than five, we should reject or throw an error. Now, if we directly use this library and consider that this is an external NuGet package, then it is very hard to control because the logic exists inside of this class. And that is where the proxy pattern comes in place. So how do we solve this problem? We essentially create a proxy of the weather provider in our project, which is the proxy demo project. And this is where we'll have an implementation for this new weather provider. So for that, I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to name the class as weather provider proxy. And the weather provider proxy is going to implement the same interface as weather provider, which is I weather provider. And let's add the namespace here. Let's implement the interface. Now here is what we are going to do is we're going to check if total count is less than two or total count is greater than five, then throw new argument out of range exception total count should be between 2 and 5. So that's our argument out of range exception. And then what we can do is we can use the actual weather provider and return it. So here for that the best way to do it is inject the weather provider through constructor. So I weather provider provider and here we can do weather provider dot get total count and just return that so now what we have done 
so here I think it has parameter name message okay so we have to pass the name of the parameter so let's pass that as total count and the message so now suggestion is gone now okay so here this is our implementation so now as you can see we created this proxy which is implementing the same interface as the library on NuGet package that we intend to use and here we injected the object which is supposed to be from the library on NuGet package and inside the implementation we are going to implement our logic which we need to control and as you remember the whole intent of proxy pattern is to provide a placeholder for another object to control access to it so here we are controlling the access to this object through this condition and the access control can be many things it can be an access control due to authorization role it can be for checking some constraint like we are doing or for any other reason but this gives you the power to kind of restructure an object and augment it and that is why it is also a structural design pattern so now that this is ready we can use the iWeather provider here and we can pass iWeather provider as a parameter and then here we can say return weather provider dot get now one problem and total count we can pass seven which is going to throw an error now one problem there that we are going to face is here we have iweather provider here also we are expecting iweather provider now out of box specifying iweather provider into a controller is a little bit complex so what we are going to do is for creating the iweather proxy we're going to use services dot add singleton and here we're going to use just the new weather proxy and for that we're going to say new weather provider now this time we are just saying weather provider and not weather provider proxy and I'll add the namespace for the library and then here I can say I weather provider so now I weather provider will represent only weather provider proxy and for weather provider proxy instead of letting it get it from a dependency injection container I'm just creating the instant right here and passing the base weather provider so this should do the job so now in this case we should get a error when we run this application and if we pass a four or five it is going to work as expected so let's go ahead and run this application now let's try it out execute and we will get an error here see we are getting the argument exception which is expected if we run it we are getting an error here of argument exception and total count should be between 2 and 5 and now if we go back and change the controller and make it as 5 and this time it should work as expected and we should get the weather the weather list back so as you can see the implementation of the proxy pattern is extremely simple but at the same time it is extremely powerful now one other place where we use proxy a lot which we might not implement exactly this way is when we call out to a web API calling out to web API is also usually a proxy pattern so if you are making a get post and put call we might be creating three method for get post and put inside of the class and they will be responsible for proxying the call out 
to an external service. It is a little bit different the traditional proxy pattern, but it works very similar to that. And as I mentioned earlier, proxy pattern is one of the simplest pattern to understand as well as implement. And you could see it from how I implemented this pattern. It's really, really simple. So that is all I wanted to cover for this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and if you think you are getting value out of my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.